Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. Okay, welcome back to A Level Lessons uh, Online. Uh, we're going to be moving into Physical Jog, the next part of our series, part 23. And we're going to be looking at drainage density, right? It's a very, very simple concept that I think a lot of you guys just need to just um, read through. It's actually very simple, so that's why this video is actually very short. Right, I don't have a lot of slides to cover. I'm just going to go through what drainage density is um, and how um, you need to apply it in your exams, all right? So the formula of drainage density, okay, real quick, okay, there's no fixed definition, okay, it goes by a um, formula. So the formula is basically drainage density equals to your total stream length over the total basin area. So it's your length, so essentially it is like how long the river is, okay, over the actual area. So usually the resource will give, give you something like this. Okay, with a lot of tributaries. Okay, this is when you know that it's something like a um, drainage basin. It looks like apps, right? Yeah, but essentially that's what drainage density is. Um, this is a drainage basin. So the total basin area is this whole thing over here. Okay, and then the total length is how long does it go? So that will determine what the density is. So essentially density, okay, drainage density, like any other sort of density-based um, concepts, there's high and there's low density. So in this case, a high drainage density um, would basically mean that there will be a high overland flow, hence higher flood risk. Okay, so there will be a greater amount of tributaries. So it is essentially like the one that I drew just now. So let's say something like this, it goes very, very far, and there are a lot of tributaries that go out of it. Okay, this is basically going to have a high drainage density, right? Because it has a, um, if you look at the, the, the formula, right, the basin area, let's say in this case, it's slightly smaller. Okay, in terms of its area, but because of the length that is bigger, overall your drainage density will be higher instead. Okay, not only that, there will be lesser infiltration, obviously, okay, because there's higher overland flow as a result, and hence there will also be lesser groundwater storage. So this is basically just, um, we've gone through in the previous part, go check it out as well, um, what drainage basin hydrology is. So we're going to look at the input-output and then your stores and your flows. So that is basically how you determine um, what you need to explain for higher drainage density. Right, on the other hand, a lower drainage density um, will just be the complete opposite. Okay, so there will be low overland flow. Okay, there will be lesser amount of tributaries, more infiltration and more groundwater storage. So essentially this one, when you want to have a very, very low drainage density, of course, you need to have a um, larger area, right, and a shorter length. Okay, because if you go by the formula that drainage, uh, let me use a pen instead, so drainage density, equals to length over area. In order for it to be a lower drainage density, there has to be a smaller length and a, ah, uh, sorry. Smaller length and a larger area. Correct? Okay, because let's say if the, f the fraction is something like one over two, okay, it would definitely be um, better if I mean, a smaller number if let's say it was 1 over 4 instead or you that 0.5 over 4 okay which means that there has to be shorter length and a greater area so it will look something like this so let's say it's huge but it just goes like that okay so there's not even much room for tributaries at all so essentially the drainage density for this will be extremely low Okay, because of your length and your area, okay, um, it will result in a very, very low drainage density. Okay, so so essentially the definition of density is um, how much water there is in, in a drainage basin hydrology. Okay, and you're looking at how dense it is based on the unit. Okay, so you're kind of like chopping up the river into a, into certain sections or you're chopping up the drainage basin, uh, drainage basin into certain sections to determine based on one specific area how much water flows through at one point in time. That is basically what drainage density is talking about. Okay, so it's actually a very simple thing to understand. You just need to understand based on what the formula is, as well as when it's going to be a high number and when it's going to be a low drainage density. right? So you just need to understand what the concept of it is about, which I've already gone through, and what the high and low drainage density entails. All right? So that's actually all I have for this video. Very, very short video. Okay, go ahead and um, just look through 
um, what the concept is all about. Um, you won't really need to use it in the examinations, I feel. Okay, it's more of just a concept that may just pop up in your case studies and you just need to understand why it is and be able to apply your um, understanding in terms of how does this link to, um, let's say it depends on the, on the resource that they give, whether one has a high or low drainage density. Okay, so that's all I have for this video. Okay, if you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a like. If you're still subscribed to the channel, it really does help me out a lot. I will be going through more of the trickier parts of these topics um, in the next videos, actually. Okay, next video, I'm going to be doing a braided, followed by meandering reverse. So stay tuned for that. Um, I think those are the things that is really worth watching as well. Alright, so if not, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.